What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, the Time Teller, and we're handheld today because I wasn't expecting to film anything. Now, our P.O. box got a shipment, a pretty large box from a watchmaker called Vero. Now, I know nothing about them, and again, we weren't even going to film today, but this is such a huge box that I definitely want to see what's inside and I want to film it because they did DM me on Instagram, so I have an idea of the watch they sent, but the box is so enormous that I kind of want to share it with you. So let's go ahead and take a look at the watch. I'm going to wear it for a few more days, then do the pros and cons, because again, I know nothing about them. I know nothing about the watch, but from the pictures I've seen, it looks pretty dang cool. So let's just get into it. It is 3.22 PM. Let's get down to business. So what was inside that box, that enormous white box from Vero, along with a, the whole new wardrobe that they provided to me? We got like a knitted hat, we got a sweatshirt, we got a t-shirt. We also got one of their newer offerings in regards to wristwatches, which was the Vero Workhorse Backcountry, and I'm wearing it on the wrist right now. This thing uh, looks very futuristic, looks very legible, and... Um, it's actually really freaking cool. It seems to have like a modern outdoorsy take on on like an outdoorsy chronograph. It's not traditional by any means. However, it looks and feels incredibly functional. So let's just jump into the specs. Okie dokie. So this back country, um, the back country is the variant. All right. So you have one, which is the Canyon, which is like khaki, like coyote tan. And then the back country, which is uh, olive drab, my favorite color. So this is the workhorse. What, you're getting a one hour chronograph powered by Miyota 6S21 quartz movement. So it's battery operated, a 120 meter water resistance rating, a triple gasket screw down crown. Uh, you'll notice a couple crowns on this watch. They're both threaded. Um, you're getting AR coating on that sapphire crystal. I don't know if it's on the underside or the top side of that crystal. You are getting protective rubberized steel bull horns, which is like this bull bar. You are getting scratch resistant Cerakote case, uh, left-handed crown and kroner pushers, and an internal rotating bezel. Uh, this strap you can see is a Velcro. Oh yeah, ASMR. Uh, it's a Velcro nylon strap. It fits from a 6.5 inch wrist to an 8.5 inch wrist. Uh, each pusher is 8.6 millimeters wide. Uh, the crowns are 8.5 millimeters wide. The lug to lug is 49.5 millimeters. Uh, and the diameter is 44.5 millimeters with a 13.5 millimeter thickness. So they gave us all the dimensions here, uh, which is really cool because most companies do not do that. So, okay, a bull bar, a sapphire crystal, Cerakote case, and it's quartz, so there's not much to go wrong if you give this thing a good knock. This seems like a pretty incredibly utilitarian watch, right? Seems like something that you don't have to baby. But this kind of brings us into the pros and cons, so let's just jump right into that. The first pro would be that this is incredibly functional and robust, right? Has a bunch of bells and whistles that you'll actually use. That timing bezel, I use timing bezels all the time. Again, we have a joke with this, you know, uh, pizza roll timing, but seriously, if it comes down to cooking something or just timing how long, you know, uh, let's say I throw a load of laundry in the washing machine, right? I will time that. I will set it as like almost like a timer. I'll put it to where I think the duration will be. Okay, 30 minutes. I'll move it down to 30. And then as the minute hand elapses, I can see how much time I have until it'll hit that pip, right? You can use timing bezels. Also though, this has a chronograph complication. And again, I mess around with chronographs all the time. When you find thing like, okay, here's, this is total just tangent rant, but bear with me. You don't think that you will ever use a chronograph when you're not wearing one. 
But when you wear one, you tend to time the most random things, and it's just fun. That is what is fun about watch collecting, in my opinion. That's all I'm gonna say. So there's bells and whistles here, but you'll actually use them. The next pro would be this incredibly unique design, right? Um, it's not something you see every day. It's not a traditional chronograph, but it's not so out there that it's like ugly. Uh, everything seems very deliberate. Um, everything's very legible. Everything's very highly visible. Uh, I love the nylon strap. That's another pro. Uh, no resin rot that you'd have to worry about. But you do have drilled lugs, which means that if you don't want the strap, very easy to swap the strap out to whatever you want. Um, and then the final pro would be that this feels very hefty and solid. It doesn't feel like just a typical quartz chronograph toy. This feels like an actual tool watch. But this watch isn't perfect, so let's jump into the cons. Now, the first con would be that this is kind of a thick boy, right? 13.5 millimeters thick, 49.5 millimeter lug to lug. Uh, if you have smaller wrists, th this might be a bit much for you. Um, also, it's it's quartz. That's going to be the next con. Now, I don't see it as a con, but I understand that to some, when they hear of a quartz watch from like a micro brand, they kind of write it off. And I get it. You know, my, quartz watches already get judged harsh, harshly. Quartz micro brands get judged very harshly. And then I guess another con would be that the loom is not great. It's it's not incredible. Like, let me actually gonna see this now with my UV torch. I have a UV torch here, guys. It's not the worst loom in the world. We're gonna do a close up for you, obviously, but um, it's also not the best loom. I, I wish it was a little bit more bright and vibrant. But all in all, guys, this Vero Workhorse Backcountry, um, whichever variant you choose, I think they both look really cool, but here we have the backcountry. It's a badass watch, all right? And it almost made me forget about G-Shocks for a little bit. I'm gonna be honest, you know, I have um, multiple, like, robust watches in rotation. So, you know, <laughs> I'm a terrible degenerate watch addict, so I have a bunch of cases for my various watches, and I keep my field watches and, like, my camping watches, like, together in one place and they're all really tough durable watches you know you have your mud masters you have your king g shock you have um my boulder expeditions there uh just some really tough watches that i would truly feel like like i could rely on and um in that rotation this would totally fit and this is something different it's not a boulder expedition it has a chronograph complication so you're getting some added functionality there but it's also not a g-shock it's not digital it's something analog that's very easy to use and tough and for under 500 dollars let me see on their website right now at the time of filming 429 excuse me 425 dollars this is an absolute no-brainer. So good job, Vero. This is a really, really cool watch. And again, when I first saw this watch, I was like, all right, if Boulder were to make a chronograph field watch that was kind of like, it, it, like an expedition chronograph, it would be this, probably. And that's like the biggest compliment I can give Vero because Boulder is like the, the Boulder Expeditions, like as far as I'm concerned, one of the best field watches on the market. So this is such a badass watch, guys. And for four hundred twenty-five dollars, insane. Go get one. I'll leave a link in the description. And guess what? A lot of our microbrand Mondays are sponsored. This one, they didn't pay us. All right. Um, they did give us this watch, so we still will click uh, that that there was. We legally have to click like paid, um, what is it, product placement or something. YouTube makes us click that thing whenever we get a watch in the mail. But um, they're not sponsoring this episode. They're not, uh, they just sent it to us and, and we appreciate it. And this is a badass watch, but it's, man, for under $500. It's really cool. But again, I'm biased because I'm incredible. I'm a sucker for these like tactical field watches. So whatever. 
It's an awesome watch, guys. Let me know what you think. Would you wear this? Do you think it's too out there? Is it something that you would see in your like kind of functional field watch rotation? Leave me that comment. I would love to learn your perspective. And uh, cause, again, guys, I learn from you just as much as you learn from me. And I really do appreciate the comments because it helps my videos out in the algorithm. All right, I will catch you on the next one. Please stay happy, stay healthy, and stay blessed. I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller. Always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it. Yeah, yeah, yeah.